Hi, I'm Simon from Chat SDK. Today we're going to be looking at configuring Firebase for your Android Chat SDK project. If you haven't already added the Chat SDK to your custom project, you might need to check back in some of our previous tutorials. But as it is, I'm using a copy of a custom project I set up, which I've manually added the Chat SDK to. First thing you need to do is come to console.firebase.google.com and create an account. Once you've created an account, create a new project. I'm going to be using the Chat SDK version for test project. Now click on database and this will show you the name of the database that you have created. You can copy that and now we want to copy that into our project. Open up your SDK folder, open up the com, bronster.chatsdk, network, and then double click to open the defines Java file. You'll notice we have three different specific areas here that we want to change. The first one is the server URL. So copy your newly created one and replace the previous server URL with this one you now have. Next, you need to change your Firebase storage path. Now, to do this, you'll notice that between the forward slash and the dot firebase.com, you have the actual name of your database. Double click on the old name and replace that with your new name. So it's in the form gs colon slash slash your name dot appspot.com. Finally, you need to set your root path for your database. Now, the root path is an extremely useful tool as it allows you to branch your database into various different completely unrelated branches. This is especially useful if you want to have test versions and live versions as the data from one won't be available in the data from the other. So we're going to just call this test Android. Great. Now that we've done that, we need to go back to Firebase and actually add our specific app into the Firebase database. Um, the Firebase console specifically links your package for your app to the app itself. So you can't just set up one account and use it for three different apps, each with different packages. Come back here to your Firebase database, click the settings at the top, and then click project settings. Once that's loaded, you need to come back to your project, click on the app, manifest, and Android manifest XML, and have a look at what your package <coughs> for your app is. In this case, it's com.bronster.androidchatsdk.app. You're going to need this because you need to add your Android app to your Firebase dashboard. Click Add App, choose the platform you're going to be adding it on, Android in this case, and then add your Android package name here. Once you've added it, you click Register. We're not going to do this because I've already done it, but the download con config file and, and Firebase Chat SDK, you don't need to do anything with they just give you some extra information. So you can see com.bronster.androidchatsdk.app. So we've already added it. Now you need to click to download your Google Services JSON for this. This is a JSON that then needs to be added to your project. Open up Finder, navigate to your project. and click on the SDK file. And this is where you need to copy your Google Services JSON. So in this case, you can see I've already added it. Copy yours and overwrite this one. Now, you need to do the second part of the process, which is extremely similar to the first and equally as important. You can see here that we have another uh, app that I've added 
called Android App, and it has the package name of com.bronster.androidchatsdk.firebase-plugin. You need to add this exact package name to your app. So click Add App, click Android, and then copy this into your user for the package name. You can see that we've already got one, but yours will be able to be created OK. Once it's been created, once again, download the Google Services JSON file. Now, when you come back to your project structure, you need to copy that into the Firebase plugin folder. You can see once again we have another Google Services JSON. This is really important because if you don't do this, then the chat SDK won't work. Uh, if you need any clarification, you can go to the uh, wiki and that will show you exactly what you need to do for each step. You just need to remember to add your new project package name <laughs> into the SDK file and the com.bronster android chat SDK .firebase plugin into the Firebase plugin file. Now, when you run it, your chat SDK should be fully configured with Firebase and should successfully log in to your app. So you're now ready to go to run the chat SDK with your app on your own dashboard. If you need any help, be sure to post uh, an issue on the GitHub page. Uh, there is also a full, pretty succinct transcript of this video in our wikis. Uh, and I look forward to running through other tutorials with you in the future. Bye.